So hi everyone, today we're looking at the i50TS from Foxwell and we're using it to read and clone a TPMS sensor on a Jaguar. So firstly, if we go to the TPMS menu on the i50 and now we go to Europe and now scroll down and find Jaguar. Excuse the reflection here, here we go. Okay, we'll go with manual selection. And, oops, sorry, I'm in trouble. It's an XE. And 2019, so if we go that year. Okay, so now we've got a selection of options here. So we're currently leaning up next to this rear right tire. So if we select that one. And now we hit trigger. And there we go, straight away it's read all the information from the sensor. So we've got sensor IDs, we've got pressure, temperature and frequencies. So if we walk to the other tire now, let's change this one, so it's the front right. trigger this. Great stuff. So again we got information from that sensor as well. So this is all we need now to be able to create a clone of one of these sensors. So right we're in the side now we've got a Foxwell T10 sensor next to the tool. So let's pick the sensor that we want to clone. We do programming on the i50 tool and then clone by activation. So it's now actually programming this sensor with the same ID number, same frequency, all the same specs as the sensor that we just saw in the car. So if we replace the alloy on the car now and fit the sensor, the car won't know that the wheel's actually been changed. And that's done. As easy as that. So if we can actually just check the sensor now by we can read it, again by using trigger. We can see the ID number is the same as the one that we programmed and all the sensor information it's showing is the same as, as the sensor that we copied. So this is ready now to install in the car. We can also see from the sensor info tab that uh, this is a Foxwell T10 sensor and just get all the different information and spec of, of the sensor from this page. If you need any help with TPMS or you're looking for any TPMS tools, please contact us at gendan.co.uk.